Ever heard of hackers making millions legally? Sounds nuts, right? But buckle up because that's exactly what companies like Google and Facebook are doing. And the reasons are mind-blowing than you think. So, why would these tech giants pay the very people who could bring their whole castle of cards crashing down? Let's crack the code of this ethical hacking black market, shall we? The Bug Bounty Boom The term bug bounty might sound like a relic of early gaming days, but today, it's a booming industry. Companies like Google, Facebook, Microsoft, and even airlines and banks have their own bug bounty programs, offering platforms for white hats to submit their findings. It's like a digital gold rush, with researchers combing through code lines like prospectors panning for nuggets. In 2019, a white hat hacker netted $725,000 for finding a critical flaw in Uber's system that could have exposed the personal data of millions of users. Talk about finding a needle in a digital haystack. It's not just about throwing money at hackers and hoping for the best. Platforms like HackerOne and BugCrowd have become sophisticated marketplaces for vulnerabilities. Companies can set bounties for specific areas of their system, and researchers can choose which targets to tackle based on their skills and interests. It's like a digital mercenary guild matching the right talent with the right challenge. Don't think bug bounties are just for Silicon Valley giants. Smaller companies and even open source projects are getting in on the game, realizing the value of crowdsourced security. It's democratizing the hacking landscape, giving everyone from seasoned veterans to enthusiastic newcomers a chance to contribute to a safer online world. Forget the Hollywood image of hooded figures hunched over glowing screens. Ethical hackers come from all walks of life, driven by diverse motivations. Sure, some are attracted by the potential financial rewards, but many are fueled by a genuine passion for security and a desire to make the internet a safer place. Think of them as digital Robin Hoods, stealing not gold but vulnerabilities and distributing them to the good guys. The path to becoming a white hat hacker can be as varied as the hackers themselves. Some are self-taught wizards, honing their skills through online tutorials and personal projects. Others come from a cybersecurity background, bringing their academic knowledge and professional experience to the table. And increasingly, universities are offering dedicated ethical hacking courses, creating a new generation of digital defenders. It's not just about the money or the accolades. Ethical hackers get a rush from the challenge of the hunt, the satisfaction of cracking a tough code, and the potential impact of the discoveries. Imagine being the first one to find a hidden door in a digital fortress, knowing your findings could prevent a catastrophic breach. It's a mental adrenaline rush that keeps these white hats hooked. When it comes to bug bounties, it's not a one-size-fits-all deal. The price tag on a vulnerability depends on a whole constellation of factors. Its severity, potential impact, ease of exploitation, and even the reputation of the hacker who found it. A critical hole that could expose millions of user passwords will obviously fetch a higher reward than a minor glitch affecting a specific feature. Not every valuable discovery translates into a straight cash payout. Sometimes, companies offer alternative rewards like exclusive merchandise, invitations to conferences, or even permanent employment opportunities. It's not just about the immediate fix but also about building long-term relationships with talented white hats who can contribute to ongoing security efforts. There's a fine line between responsible vulnerability disclosure and unethical exploitation. Black hats, of course, cross that line by using bugs for malicious purposes like stealing data or compromising systems. But even white hats face the temptation to oversell a vulnerability to boost their reward or even delay reporting it for personal gain. This is where transparency and ethical guidelines come in, ensuring that bug bounties operate within a framework of responsible disclosure and prevent abuse. It's important to remember that the bug bounty game isn't just for seasoned vets with years of experience under their belts. Many platforms offer programs accessible to newcomers and hobbyists with smaller bounties for less critical vulnerabilities. This creates a valuable entry point for aspiring white hats to hone their skills, build their reputation, and gradually climb the ladder of the bug bounty ecosystem. 
It's not just about protecting corporate profits and user data. Ethical hackers are playing a crucial role in tackling broader societal challenges, from fighting cybercrime and human trafficking to safeguarding critical infrastructure and even improving healthcare. Imagine white hats cracking the code of illegal weapon sales, protecting patient records from breaches, or developing life-saving medical software. The possibilities are endless. The bug bounty world isn't a solitary game. Hackers often collaborate, share knowledge, and form online communities where they bounce ideas off each other, refine their skills, and collectively tackle complex vulnerabilities. Think of it as a virtual blacksmith guild, sharing tools and techniques to forge the strongest digital shields. When a white hat discovers a critical flaw, it doesn't just benefit the company that paid the bounty. The fix often gets shared amongst industry peers, ultimately strengthening the entire digital ecosystem. It's like fixing a leaky dam. The benefits flow downstream, protecting everyone who uses the same water system. In this case, the internet. Bug bounties are fostering a new generation of tech-savvy problem solvers. Youngsters are getting hooked on coding, exploring security challenges, and even participating in bug bounty programs from a young age. This early exposure to ethical hacking is building a pipeline of future cybersecurity professionals ready to safeguard the digital world they'll inherit. The bug bounty boom isn't slowing down. As technology evolves and our reliance on it deepens, the demand for skill white hats will only grow. But this rapid evolution brings not just benefits but also new challenges and ethical dilemmas. Some experts warn of a potential arms race between companies and hackers. As bug bounties skyrocket, so might the incentive for sophisticated criminals to develop and sell zero-day exploits, vulnerabilities so critical they can be exploited before anyone knows they exist. This creates a chilling scenario where companies constantly scramble to patch holes before attackers find them, like a never-ending game of digital whack-a-mole. The rise so-called zero-day markets on the dark web is another worrying trend. These shadowy trading platforms offer high-priced, custom-developed exploits to the highest bidder, potentially putting vital infrastructure, sensitive data, and even national security at risk. Imagine a world where cyber criminals can buy the keys to our digital fortresses for the right price. A terrifying prospect indeed. So where does this leave us? On the one hand, bug bounties have undoubtedly strengthened digital security and empowered a new generation of ethical hackers. But the potential for weaponized vulnerabilities and zero-day markets underscores the need for greater transparency, stricter regulations, and international cooperation to combat cybercrime. So the next time you hear about a hacker getting rich, remember, it's not just about greed or glory. It's about the invisible army of white hats out there, safeguarding our digital lives, one bug bounty at a time. Remember, technology is a tool, and likely any tool, it can be used for good or evil. The choice lies with us. Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked this video, Click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for watching.